Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. All right, every week we are celebrating people who are making their mark with STEAM careers. And today's focus is math, technology, and engineering. CBS2 meteorologist Amber Lee takes us inside the Big Top to see what it takes to be technical director for Cirque du Soleil. Sounds cool. The liftoff, the spinning, the twisting, the landing. All in a day's work for the performers and crew of Cirque du Soleil. It's a dangerous business. Andrew Barris is the technical director for Cirque's show Volta. I oversee all the technical elements that go on in our show. So this includes rigging and automation, carpentry, and all the sound and all the video and all the lighting in the shows. Even with eight performances a week, there are daily rehearsals. That has to be all done exactly right. We pulled up to the big top in the Toyota Mobile Weather Lab for a behind the scenes look at what it takes to get Volta ready to exasperate audiences. We've got a lot of flying in the show. This particular show has a lot of automation. This act is called Guardian Angel in the City. There is no room for error. The performer and the red cable that raises and lowers the lantern have to be spot on. In the beginning, Cirque used people called riggers to raise and lower cables. These days... We've realized that it's more important for us to be precise every single time with consistency. So automation came into play. But this is where all the heavy technology is underneath the bleachers. This part right here is really the brains of the entire operation. Computers control not only lights, music, and video, but also these, drums called winches. Winches raise and lower all those critical cables. And two flyers need to meet in the air. There's one winch that's on one side under the bleachers. There's another winch that's on the other side. They're exactly the same place in every city that we go to. And then they move in tandem with each other. Automation is also at work, rotating these ramps for BMX bikers to achieve the near impossible. The angles and location have to be right on the mark. There are many, many riders at the same time. They're doing tricks that are insane and they're landing those tricks. Throughout the tent, more than 150 people work high and low to make each act go off without a hitch. Though all the steam disciplines come into play, three that stand out for Andrew are math, technology, and engineering. Everything that we do is very heavily engineered. Andrew knew early on he wanted a career in entertainment. To make sure he'd have work, he studied theater automation. The stuff that I do in my job is spectacular. For anyone with dreams of running away with the Cirque show, Andrew says there are two paths. Master the muscles or master the math. I'm here to tell you that I use it every single day. That big top, by the way, takes 10 days to tear down and put up. Volta ends its run at Dodger Stadium Sunday, then opens in Costa Mesa March 18th. For more on STEAM careers, go to cbsla.com slash STEAM.